All right, Battletech enthusiasts, incoming tech here, incoming question, Fritz Alpha Strike. Your thoughts on the game, your thoughts on that perspective of Battletech. So first with that lead-in, in terms of a war game, and I, I make the assumption, I'm, a pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a solid assumption, that for many of us we play Battletech with miniatures. I know you can do it with tokens. I saw a really nice token setup. Um, some players might still use kind of the cardboard or foam core stand, stand-up mechs. There's a whole industry of print-and-play stuff that's out there. But I would call Battletech a physical war game, whether that's on a wargaming table or a hex map, which makes it more of a board game, there is a, a physical representation in there. As such, collectible. Building your lances, painting your lances, acquiring new miniatures, your collection is going to grow. So from that perspective, and, and this is true of every war game that I enjoy, whether it's Warhammer 40,000 or Chain of Command, I want to get the most out of my miniatures. I want you guys to get the most out of your miniatures. So I view... It's, it, do we even still call it classic battle tech? I mean, that drove me nuts with Catalyst for a while, where it's like, guys, uh, direct the brand some way. I, I don't know, maybe there's some like legalese backdoor stuff that they, they can't call it certain things, but it's like classic battle tech in my mind. It's like, no, it's, it's not classic battle tech. It was never classic anything. It's just battle tech. And Alpha Strike is a secondary bolt on or re implementation of it. I always called it Alpha Strike. Do we call it Battletech Alpha Strike? But I say that because I believe you should be using your models to experience both aspects of that game. It just depends on your entry point. So I'm going to share my entry point and then the perspective of how the two play. I started out with classic Battletech. For many, many years, it was just mech versus mech action. Then we added vehicles. Then we played the clans, but the clans were never anything mainstream they were just kind of uh there we do some big battles every now and then then we went back to just inner inner sphere succession era and then recently the past i don't know two years or so it's really been um very clan very clannish clan focus on there but primarily it's the rules of battle tech i would and i still do play alpha strike from time to time when I can't get in a regular game of Battletech. Uh, an example of that might be just we're at the gaming club. I'm playing another game. I usually have my Battletech stuff ready to go. And if we finish up a regular game and there's maybe 30 minutes or so, it would be challenging. I, I won't say almost impossible, but it would be very, very challenging to play a satisfying game of Battletech in 30 minutes. I can throw down and play some Alpha Strike in that time. On there, on the converse of that, there's times where we played Battletech, you know, a, a good size game, you know, three, four, five hours or so. I make some mistakes, I get blown up early, I try to go for the glory, it doesn't quite work out, and now we've got, you know, maybe 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes left over on there. It's not time to go home yet. Um, let's throw down and play some Alpha Strike. That's my entry point. Now, I do know a few players that their introduction to the Battletech universe was Alpha Strike, and they continue to play Alpha Strike. So I believe as a Battletech player, you want to have some proficiency in both. Uh, again, not only getting the most out of your models, but as you connect with the Battletech community, you're able to directly plug in to that experience how that group wants to play it. But if you're coming directly in from an Alpha Strike perspective on there, check out classic battle tech check out regular battle tech it doesn't have to be your mainstream system it's not going to replace alpha strike if that's what you enjoy but it's another tool it's another expression in your toolkit really fast then i'm going to turn it over to you guys um, for the comparison because i'd love to kind of get that feedback of based on how i see it we're going to get like um, metaphysical here we're going to get esoteric Classic Battletech has the feeling of tension, of pressure. You march out onto the field with these mechs, and you start taking damage. And it's a question of, when is your mech going to fold? And just how far can you push that mech? How much can you risk 
before it blows up or falls apart or gets a leg blown off and you fall and crash your head and fail that consciousness check. It's, it's a question of very, very focused, extreme detail and damage with that. Alpha Strike's a lot more fast and furious. Um, a lot of the critical hits are removed. A lot of the tension of, um, I have this dragon mech, I don't play it enough. Something about the mech, I can't say what. But every game, regardless of whether my tactics are good or not, this mech, and, and I, I've actually, I'm going to have to pull it out and show you guys. I've actually saved the battle sheets from every single battle, because you wouldn't believe me. This mech has gotten its arms blown off, its legs, its leg blown off. Um, it's taken internal hits, you know, two engine hits, a, a sensor hit, a gyro hit. It's still going every single battle. It's like frustrating for my opponent because they've shot everything into this, this dragon mech and somehow it's still standing and they're pissed because it should have been blown up like an hour ago. And now it's like, forget the mission. I just got to blow this mech up on there. That type of feeling is captured in classic Battletech. Alpha Strike is a lot more um, streamlined, a lot quicker to play. I see it as, from the perspective, almost like Battletech and Mech Commander. I feel like when I'm playing Battletech, a.k.a. classic Battletech, I'm, I'm on the tabletop. I've got my command mech things are unfolding on on tactics unfolding on the tabletop level with that i'm plugged into my lance mates you know we're communicating i'm aware of damage factors and range and everything when i play alpha strike i feel like a mech commander i don't need to know all the little details of each mech and what it's it's taking i just need to know its position on the tabletop and the game is a lot more fluid and faster playing so it feels like you're i'm in that drop ship flying around and landed or the mobile i'd be actually in the mobile hq and kind of playing on that that 3d holographic type map that's you know really trying to catch it top down level that's my feeling between the two and my experience between the two so now in the comments battletech regular yes or no battletech alpha strike yes or no and out of curiosity your entry point into the Battletech universe. I guess we have to offer three options for this. Alpha Strike, Battletech, or the role-playing aspect of Battletech.